pick up the phone. We all seem to love our phones. We have cell phones, we have Skype phones, we have phones, I'm here in Debbie's office, we have phones, we all tend to love our phones, we love to talk to our friends and family or business colleagues, yet the one thing we avoid on the phone is prospecting. So why do we avoid prospecting? It's an interesting thing. Why do we decide, you know, I'm gonna make the calls today, today's the day I'm gonna make 100 dials or I got my list of people I'm gonna call, yet you find ways to go to Starbucks and you have good excuses while you're there of, oh, the manager, you know, came out from around that counter and, you know, kind of told me they may be sort of kind of interested, their brother's cousin in my business, and you tell yourself you're going to follow up and you never do. Or you go around your office and you organize things for the 50th times or check your emails and you avoid the most important thing in business, which is called prospecting. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a corporate executive, you're a sales manager, you've got a little sales team, or you're a salesperson yourself. The interesting thing is we all know the benefit of prospecting, yet why do we avoid the one thing we need to do the most? See, the interesting thing about prospecting is, you know, it's that situation we have all the intentions in the world when you sit down, you know you're going to pick up the phone, you know it's a good idea to do, but something happens in the time where it was a good idea to do and you dialing those seven to ten digits depending where you're calling and the person says hello. See, usually when they pick up the phone, it's, it's a good thing. Yet, the challenge is most of us never get to the point where someone's actually going to pick up the phone often enough. So I'm not saying that you're lazy, I'm not saying that you don't make enough calls, yet if you'd like to prospect more, there's a few things I'd like you to know. The first is this, the fear we have of prospecting, whether it's the fear of success, the fear of failure, the fear of rejection, the I don't really feel like doing it feeling, whatever it is, is really interesting because I was doing some studies and it said that 5 to 10 percent of the people that you call are the only ones to pick up the phone. Think about that. Five to 10% of the people you call will pick up the phone. So I did a little reverse engineering of the numbers and I said, well, what does that mean? What that means is that somewhere in the range of 90 to 95% of the time that you dial numbers on a phone, what's gonna happen is nobody's gonna pick up. So 90 to 95% of the time, nobody's gonna pick up and we avoid something called prospecting and most people never pick up the phone. I don't need to get into the benefits of prospecting. You know that you call more people, you make more calls, you knock on more doors, you do more things, you will make more money. I don't need to sell you on that, you already know that. The question is, can we get you to do it? Well, the biggest reason that we don't make these calls has a lot to do with the way our brain is set up. And if you remember back, they had this invention years ago called the radio. You know, it has a receiver and it has an antenna and he has little channels and you could switch between country and hard rock and you can have religious stations and NPR and all those different things you have on the radio. The interesting thing is our brains also are a receiver with an antenna. And most of us haven't realized that the station that we typically are tuned into is something called the procrastination station. And it's tuned in so well that we have so many other things that we can do that we avoid going to the prospecting channel. Now, knowing that we don't spend enough time on the prospecting channel, I decided to put together a very special workshop for you. And what this workshop is about is an opportunity for you and I to focus on, for about an hour, a very special topic called prospecting. And I got a couple of big things that we're going to cover, and a couple is a small word for lots of things that we're going to be covering over a very short hour together. And we're going to focus on that hour on the prospecting channel. Now, I know a lot of you want to jump immediately to the success channel, and we're going to get you there too. But we first got to stop by the prospecting channel and make sure this works for you. So what I want you to do is go to this website, michaelburnoff.com forward slash, as I said earlier, pick up the phone. And the reason why we use that website is we want you to pick up the phone more often and be a more effective prospector. So what this workshop's going to cover is a couple of things. We talked about it is that we know we should do this, but why don't we? Well, what I want to teach you is how to literally eliminate call reluctance. I'm going to share with you a couple reasons why that you're reluctant to pick up the phone, a couple of reasons why you're doing it and how to overcome those things, relatively easy. There's a couple little things that you can do and you'll be amazed that you're gonna be more effective in the prospecting department almost overnight. The second thing I'm gonna do is a lot of people say to me, Mike, I get it, I know I need to make the calls, yet what do I say when I pick up the phone? And we worry about getting people engaged quickly. Imagine I could show you a way that in 30 to 40 seconds you can make anybody engaged in anything you have to say and them interested in hearing from you. Wouldn't that be amazing, 30 to 45 seconds? Well, that would be amazing. Then what I'm gonna share with you in a couple seconds is be even better. 
I'm gonna give you a technique during this workshop within three to five seconds. The first couple of words out of your mouth, how to have anybody interested in anything you have to say next, and they'll be willing to push aside stuff on their desk and make you their top priority. I'm gonna share all of that and more at this workshop. I'm also gonna teach you how to make prospecting fun, how to be entertaining on the phone, and on top of that, some great techniques how to get your point across quickly and be a more effective prospector than you already are, and if you're not prospecting at all, how to get yourself started. So let's make sure to get you tuned into that station, make sure to get you prospecting more effectively, and I look forward to working with you at the workshop. So all you have to do is go to the website, michaelburnoff.com forward slash pick up the phone, and I'm not guaranteeing we're gonna make prospecting the most fun thing in the world, yet imagine you were more effective doing it. Imagine we could turn off that procrastination station just a little bit longer, and you procrastinate a little bit less, and you start prospecting even more often. Fortunes in the follow-up, folks. Let's do it together. I look forward to following up with you. I will catch you on the workshop.